when I see, you know, some people talk about jury, some people are quick to want to call, you know, somebody else's chain fake, or this guy's chain is fake, or that person's chain is fake, or that person's this is fake, or, and that is fake, ring is fake, or their ankle brace is fake, or this is fake. Not all, you know, jury is the same, you know. Not all jury is solid. Like, there are some jury that's solid gold, solid silver, solid whatever, solid, you know what I'm saying? Then there's also plated jury, where there's a base metal, and then there's a thinner layer covering that base metal. So there could be, let's say, um, a chain. You know, it could be a silver chain and, and have a, that could be the base metal, or the base metal of the chain could be copper, or the base metal of the chain, you know, could be whatever. And the plated portion of the chain could be gold. So that would mean the base metal, which is silver, it would be silver, and then the plated part would be the gold, because the gold would be covering the silver. So what plated jewelry is, is a base metal, with a thin layer of another metal on top of it. So a gold plated chain or a silver plated chain isn't fake, it's plated. So it's, it is what it is. It's silver on top of copper or gold on top of silver or whatever on top of whatever. It's just, that doesn't make it fake because it's a plated chain. It just means that the chain is less expensive than it would be if it was solid. See, a gold-plated chain, of course, is going to be less than a solid gold chain. And a, a, a silver-plated chain is going to be less than a solid silver chain. So, someone having a plated chain doesn't mean they have a fake chain. Their, their chain is real. It just is whatever it is. Plating is, you know, from what I understand, plating is usually done so that the price of the chain isn't as high, you know, because some of these chains can be very, very expensive, or rings, or bracelets, or whatever can be very expensive. So having a plated chain, you can still get the type of chain that you want and it be real without paying such a high price for a solid one. And you know, having a plated chain to me is still respectable versus having a fake chain. To me, having a fake chain is having, a, you know, say you got a stainless steel painted gold trying to pass that off as gold. Now that's fake, that's a fake chain to me because you're trying to pass off that stainless steel chain as a gold chain, and it's not a gold chain. Of course, some metals are more expensive than other metals, and so therefore they're more they're valued differently, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay in that ranking, and I think it should. But I don't think personally that there's anything wrong with having any type of chain. You know, if you got a stainless steel chain, you got a stainless steel chain. If you got a silver, you got a silver. If you got a gold, you got a gold. If you got a copper, if you got whatever, you got whatever. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't make it, you know, bad because you have this type of chain or that type of chain. There are always going to be the trends of what people want to wear, what people as a whole think is great, what they think is not great. You know what I'm saying? I think every type of chain got something that's worth wearing. But if, if you got on a, a silver chain, colored gold, and you trying to tell people you got on a gold chain, that's fake. If you got on stainless steel, and you're trying to pass it off as silver, and you want people to think it's silver, that's a fake chain. If, if you got any other kind of metal, gold colored, silver colored, trying to pass it off as gold or silver, that's fake. But a plated chain is not fake. It is what what it is. Whatever metals they are is what that chain is, what that whatever is.